Hey, uh, welcome back to the vlog number 133. It's uh, Monday. <clears throat> How long do you have uh, to recover after you've done like a sporting event? Um, what's like a good recovery as well is to just recover as soon as it's, you're finished. Uh, recover as you go. Uh, so replenish as you go instead of burning out straight away and just going full out straight away what you can do is make sure you never get <clears throat> to that point where you are burnt out make sure you don't get to that point that's the trick so yeah if you're for example every 15 minute have a sip of water for example know what your body needs and what's going to be the best recovery kind of uh, food or whatever and that might just be so what took uh, with uh, myself to tough mudder was the uh, was basically kales and uh, quinoa and some, and some broccoli I think and then pretty much recovered physically like very quick um because that is like the best thing you can have it's optimal um i haven't had that for a while and had the opportunity to kind of test out that whole uh thing again over a long time um and the hike this weekend might do the same it's very easy to make very quick so it's literally 15 minutes on a boil uh, you don't even have to add anything to it um, and then it's really light as well um, there's pretty much well it's, it's really low calories but um, it just helps with uh, just being awake and keeping things flowing in your in your digestion whilst um, you're doing everything else help everything flow smoothly it's quite light as well because um, the last thing you want to do when you're doing support event is carrying extra weight and also stuff gets backed up quite easily in your gut um, and you can have other situations happening especially if there's no uh, like port -a -loo or place to go for number one or two around then this kind of like quick uh, easy fibre is really good it's high in protein as well the quinoa part And the broccoli and whatever else you want to add to it maybe some extra protein stuff or um yeah pretty much otherwise yeah just today um just getting into tutoring again tutoring so not going too far it's going to be a bit further out than normal uh but it's going to be maybe for a bit longer than normal as well not just uh, an hour maybe for two hours um, and it's with maybe uh, well GCSE level uh, just basic stuff aside from normally maths English or science and it's probably going to be at half and half maths and English and just normally when you're doing tutoring and stuff um, first well, tips for tutoring is going to be because I know well, lots of people are quite good in ac academics and stuff and you don't really have nothing to do with it unless you're passing it on and teaching it to other people just as a education for the sake of having an education um, tips would be you know, uh, first questions really so what exam board are they working towards if it's GCSE or A level, um, look at their resources or uh, work book, um, yeah, and straight away just get them writing straight away, um, so you can just see what they're like and how they how they answer questions and just do that for, uh, for the bulk of it, and then you'll really get a better idea uh, of where someone's at compared to just giving them a lecture for an hour which uh, can happen um, at the start when you are feel you have to kind of just show and teach but it's not a teach because you're not a teacher you're a tutor which is different and pretty much anyone can be a 
uh, a tutor. More vlogs.